Photoshop Elements is an image editing program and it was created by Adobe. It's offered to consumers really as a scaled down version of the popular Photoshop program. Photoshop can be a little bit overwhelming to learn to use because there's a lot of options, a lot of menu items, and it takes a while to figure them all out. So Photoshop Elements really has some benefits to the home-based user. With Photoshop Elements, you can not only edit images, but you have the ability to organize them through photo albums, digital photo albums on your computer that make editing and organizing all of your pictures and images a breeze. If you're a professional graphic designer or photographer, you're probably going to want to use the full version of Photoshop. It has more options, and that's the one you're going to want to use. But for the home-based user, somebody who has a digital camera and just has lots and lots and lots of photos, Adobe Photoshop Elements is really the way to go. Plus, it's a lot cheaper. More specifically, some of the things that Elements can do is resize photos, crop photos, create and manage photos and albums, share photos and albums, add text to photos and albums, manipulate images, add or erase color, adjust color, extract images from a photo, draw, work with layers, and much, much more. Throughout the lessons in this course, we're going to cover all the aspects of working with elements. We're going to talk about the user interface, which is basically the workspace and how to get around it. We're going to teach you where to locate the different features and the options that you might want to use in the program. In addition, we're going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use elements to accomplish the editing tasks that you might want to complete. And if you've used Photoshop or Elements before, a lot of this stuff is going to be review for you. So just bear that in mind, but you, you'll probably learn some more advanced options along the way. Now, if you've never edited a photo before and you have no idea where to even begin, don't worry about it. We're going to start at the beginning and we're going to work step by step right through until you're doing even the most complex t tasks. This course is designed to teach you how to use Elements and all of its features and benefits. And by the time that you're finished, whether you're a beginner or you know somebody who has some familiarity with Photoshop or Elements, you'll have above average skills in using the program. So let's get started. Now you'll know if you'll have Photoshop Elements installed on your computer by its icon. Its icon looks like this. It's like a little iris inside of a box. And there's two ways to open the program. You can right click it, which will bring up a screen, and you can go to open right there. Or you can do kind of the standard double click, and that will go ahead and launch the program. Now, Elements is a little bit different than a normal program in that instead of actually going directly into the program, it takes you to what's called a welcome screen. And the welcome screen gives you the choice of opening the program in one of two different modes. You can either open it in Organizer or you can open it in Photo Editor. So the option that you choose will dictate what part of the Elements software will open for you. And you can do different things in the different views. So if you want to just organize your photos, you want to go into Organizer. And if you're looking to do some actual image editing, like you have a specific image that you want to change or improve, you want to go into photo editor. Now if you don't want to see the welcome screen every time you open elements you just need to go up here to this little gear and click that and then go on start always launch and it says welcome screen right now and you can change that and you can decide that when you launch the program you always want to go into either the organizer or the photo editor. Now if you go into organizer or photo editor upon launch you can still get to the other screen. So it's not like if I select Organizer every time I launch Elements, I'm going to be in the Organizer, but I'm never going to be able to get to the Photo Editor. There's still a way to get to the Photo Editor from the Organizer and vice versa. So later on when you get more familiar with using the program and you're using it more, you can get rid of the Welcome screen. But from now we're just going to go ahead and leave it on Welcome screen. We're going to hit done. Whenever you make the change, you have to hit done. And then let's go ahead and close the screen. Now, next thing we're going to talk about is for those of you who maybe used a previous version of Photoshop Elements, there are some new features in Elements 12. And it kind of depends on what version of Photoshop Elements you've used before. If you used an Elements version before 11, the interface is going to be different. So it will look different to you and you might be 
a little disoriented when you open it up because the, the elements interface did change in Elements 11. So here's a rundown of some of the things you're going to notice. New views and organizers will allow you to sort photos with even more detail than before. The new places view lets you view photos based on location. You can now sort photos by events. There's three editing modes based on your photo editing skill level. New guided edits will allow you more control over your images. There's some new filters in the expert editing mode which will allow you to apply even more special effects. And there's an improved refined edges technology which makes it a little bit easier to extract elements from photos. If you've been using Elements 11, the interface still looks basically the same. The only thing that you might find a little bit different is this mobile albums. Mobile albums was available in previous versions. It just was a little bit harder to find. Now mobile albums is a lot more accessible. It's right here on the left side of the screen. In Elements 12 you have a content aware cut so you can cut part of your photo out and when you move it the background will fill up with content aware content. So there's a couple of new features in Elements 12 but the changes between Elements 12 and Elements 11 are not drastic.